everybody. We're going to be doing a uh, very uh, rare Dave Matthews song today that they kind of put up on the shelf back in uh, 2004. Played it again a little bit, I think, between 2014, 2016, somewhere around there. And I uh, played it a little differently. The way I'm going to teach you today is my favorite way uh, that they used to play it uh, back in 2004. You can find a good version of, uh, of it from The Gorge. And um, there's pretty much only one part to this whole song, and that's what I just played. He fiddles around with a few different things that you can just kind of have fun mess around with. Uh, the version back in um, 2014, whenever they kind of brought the song out of retirement, it's a very um, kind of just... Kind of doing a whole bunch of that stuff. That wasn't it exactly, but you get the idea of why just this one's so much cleaner. So, um, so we'll jump right into it. A little side note, this is the only song I've ever seen Dave Matthews use a capo on. Um, there are other songs that, I will, that I'm gonna teach in some uh, videos, like You Never Know, um, and a few other ones that are completely restrung differently. Baritone guitars, different things like that that he uses that will make up for it with the capo. But for him personally, this is the only song I've ever actually seen him use a capo. And uh, so we've got our capo down here on the third fret. Um, a few little uh, capo techniques, um, correct usage of a capo. Um, I want you guys to um, get your capo as close as you can to the fret that you're behind, whichever one you're behind. Um, I want it, you need it straight up and down. You don't, this is gonna affect the sound if we just, just kinda put it right here in the middle and, and you know do something like that. It's not gonna give you the sound you want. It's not gonna sound right. So let's get up there as close as we can uh, to that fret and, um, and get it as straight as we possibly can right there on that fret as well, okay? So we'll be on the third fret with our capo. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, explaining because we aren't gonna be using a pick. It's all gonna be finger picking today, okay? So we're gonna start off with an A minor chord right here. I'm going to be calling this the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and so on. We're going to be starting off with an A minor chord. We're going to be on uh, our ring finger and middle finger are going to be on the D and the G string. Four fingers going to be down here on the B string. We're going to start off with our thumb. Our thumb. I want your other two fingers already ready down here on the middle finger on the B string, four finger on the G string, okay? Be ready right there because it'll be, we're going to go A, D, and then you're only picking those two strings, you're going to take, you're going to, so we'll go here, two, and then you're going to do that one more time with these two fingers only on that, so you're going to hit that twice, then you're going to take this four finger off. still hitting that B and G string. So then we, after you do that, you're going to, with your four finger, I'm gonna be plucking the G string. And we're gonna be hammering on the second fret with our middle finger. We're gonna hammer on, I'm still using my four finger, uh, and then we're gonna be hammering on to the D string on the second fret. going to come with our ring finger right here to the third fret on the A string. So, sorry, I'm just kind of messing around there. Um, and you're going to be using your thumb again on the uh, A and the D string. So, And then we're going to do this again. Once again, these two fingers right here on the G and the B string, we're going to hammer on to that second fret on the G string. So hammer on and off. We're going to come up here, third fret E string with our ring finger. And you're just going to Four finger, middle finger, there on the D and G string. Okay, 
just gonna, that's all we're doing. We're gonna walk that down from the third fret to the second fret on the E string. And then still picking that, the D and the G strings there open. Then we're gonna come down here and go through that one more time for you, okay? Where we are, we're to where we are right now. Sorry, I'm gonna start back over. So I'm sorry, when I strum down there, we're hitting open. We're going from here, here, open. With your forefinger, with your thumb, you're gonna hit that E. And then we're gonna hit middle finger right here, uh, second fret D string. And then we're gonna do go back to what we were doing earlier, forefinger, middle finger on the B and the G string. And we're gonna hammer on right below on that, uh, on that G string right below this finger. So we're going. So we're hitting that, that, that one right there on that D string. And then just hammering on, just, just this ring finger right there, ring, ring finger right there on that G string. Okay. Then I want you to come up here and make a traditional C shape. So we're gonna be third fret, second fret, and first fret right there on the B string. So let me go through this one more time from, this, uh, from the top. Sorry. So after we go, I'm sorry, I get a little ahead of myself on that C shape. After you go, you're gonna hit that again without hammering on. So we'll go through. And then just keep that on there. E string, D string, the G and the B together. So we'll go from. And then we're coming up here to this uh, C shape. You're gonna be with your thumb on the e, uh, A string, and then forefinger, middle finger on the G and the B string, as we've been doing most of this song. And then you're gonna move your middle finger here to the second fret. So really, when you have that C shape, I've never noticed it, but this is, you really don't have to have that there. I just put it there because I'm used to putting my finger right there in that C shape. It doesn't have to be there when you hit this. Okay. And I add a little bit extra to it whenever, I, whenever I'm plucking these three strings on this. I do pull off just a little bit. And it just adds a because I think he kind of does that in the song. I think if you listen closely, there's just, it's not a, it's just a, a very subtle, you can kind of hear it in there a little bit. It just adds a little bit of a filler in there for you. So we'll go through that whole song one more time. Sorry. So that is good, good time. That's pretty much it. Like I said in the beginning, he uh, he messes around with uh, a bunch of stuff once they get into the jam. I know uh, Butch Taylor plays the keyboards for like 15 minutes. Leroy Moore has a little solo in the middle of that version that I was telling you about from the Gorge. So he just kind of, you know, he might just, you know, whatever, just sitting there kind of picking around or or whatever. Again, very difficult song to play. Don't get frustrated if you don't get it immediately. It's, it's uh, finger picking's not easy. 
and this song has a lot of just weird, just some some weird, weird just doing strange things uh, with that finger picking. It's not a tradition, you know. It's not nothing else matters by Metallica or something, you know. It's um, you know, it's a lot of a lot of switching, a lot of strange little things going on. Keep listening to it. Play that over and over because you'll you'll eventually get it. Um, but if you're not real comfortable with finger picking yet, I never was for the longest time. This song actually really helped me out on my finger picking skills. So um, just keep messing around with this song. Hopefully this was informative and helpful. If I missed anything, let me know. Um, or if you have any questions or um, comments about about this song, please uh, just let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.